You know, friends, it sure didn't take Rachel Notley long to go full Hillary Clinton, but here we are after just one day of a 28-day provincial election campaign. On Sunday night, news broke on the far left-wing NDP-affiliated Press Progress website that UCP star candidate Kaylin Ford was a white supremacist. A fellow UCP supporter had leaked her private Facebook messages to the Broadbent Institute operation. Now, I'll show you what Ford said, and I'll let you be the judge for yourself if she's a white supremacist. Now, for context, she was talking about terror attacks here. She said, when the perpetrator is an Islamist, the denunciations are intermingled with breathless assurances that they do not represent Islam and that Islam is a religion of peace, etc. Then she said, when the terrorists are white supremacists, that kind of soul searching or attempts to understand the sources of their radicalization or their perverse moral reasoning is beyond the pale. She also said, I'm somehow saddened by the demographic replacement of white peoples in their homelands. It's clear that it will not be a peaceful transition. Ford immediately resigned, saying that she didn't want to become a distraction in the campaign, and the NDP, they claimed their very first head of the campaign. When Rachel Notley then was asked about Ford at her campaign kickoff, this is what Notley said here. Like all Albertans, I was utterly shocked to uh, hear of the comments um, that uh, that candidate, who was, of course, a star candidate for the UCP, uh, made. Uh, and let me just say this. I personally do not believe that uh, Jason Kenney is racist, but I do believe that the UCP as a party has a problem with racism. You know, at least Hillary Clinton waited until her campaign was nearly over before she nuked it and called Trump supporters and conservatives unwarranted names. Notley did it on day one. Bold strategy, lady. Do you remember when Clinton said this? Here. Be grossly generalistic. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. Anyway, let's talk about the sheer number of people Rachel Notley accuses of being potential racists. If Notley is talking about the UCP membership, well, back when the UCP released their very first membership numbers in 2017, they had 87,000 members. Roughly six months later, the UCP had gained nearly 20,000 more members, up to 106,000 Albertans. And let's be clear, those are just the party members, the people who bought memberships, not people who would vote for the UCP. According to recent Ipsos polling data, that's about 53% of voters surveyed. That's a lot of people Rachel Notley just called racist and white supremacists on the first day of an election campaign. One hell of a basket of deplorables moment, I would say. Especially when those so-called white supremacists are highly motivated to put Notley out of office, out fundraising her party in power by nearly two to one. And I think this attack on the UCP membership as racist white supremacist is a tad ironic, especially since Notley is a star part of the party of boycott, divestment, and sanctions against Israeli-made goods. She's of the party that refuses to acknowledge Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the state of Israel because the NDP, as a matter of official party policy, says Israelis don't have the right to name their own capital in their own free state like every other country on the face of the earth does. Why do you think that would be? Notley's party had an open civil war on live TV because the anti-Israel motions passed at their recent 2018 convention didn't go far enough. They weren't anti-Semitic enough. They didn't attack Jewish-owned businesses enough. The NDP is the party that has policies that could easily be adopted by any hardline neo-Nazi group with respect to the state of Israel. And the mainstream media keeps giving the NDP a pass on this 
nearly constantly. Now, as much as I dislike Rachel Notley's never-ending attacks and malicious character assassination on normal Albertans, Albertans that she doesn't even know, I sort of welcome them. Because the more Notley behaves like Hillary Clinton, the more likely the outcome for Notley will be exactly the same. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. It's time to stop Alberta Premier Rachel Notley. It's time to stop her repeated attacks on Alberta's economy and on Albertans themselves. Now, to get my new book called Stop Notley, where I make the case for getting rid of her and her accidental socialist disaster of a government, go to stopnotley.com. And while you're there, sign up to get a fun lawn sign to help me promote the book. That's at stopnotley.com.